Hello, welcome to this short video introducing the GPIO box from that little box. The GPIO box is a MIDI remote control solution designed for situations where your control needs to be a distance from what you're controlling. This might be a drummer or an MD on stage firing click tracks or an actor firing a sound effect live, or where a specific control needs to be used. A contestant on a game show, for example, or an interactive element in an installation or escape room. The GPIO box has two models. The GPIO box USB is a dual USB box that plugs directly into one or two computers to allow redundant backup without the need for a MIDI interface. The lower priced GPIO box MIDI also outputs to two machines, but directly on DIN 5. It has a USB B connector as a convenient power supply. So, I'm going to show you some examples of using the GPIO box to fire some playbacks. I'm going to use the GPIO box USB, but the GPIO box MIDI works in the same way. The first thing to say is that the XLR sockets on the back of the box that act as the input do not carry any data. They just detect a switch closing. As such, the distance that any can control can be from the box using a standard audio cable is pretty big. We've tested the GPIO box using a buzzer button like this one, attached to over one kilometer of cable, and it works just as well as if the button is connected directly. While we're looking at this side of the box, you'll notice that the GPIO box has a mode switch. There are three modes, four button mode, learn mode, and two button or illuminated mode. First, let's look at four button mode. To enter four button mode, power up the box with the switch all the way over to the left. In this mode, each XLR can be connected to up to two buttons. The first is a switch connected between pins one and two, and the second a switch connected between one and three, one being ground. This could be a single button, like this one. That little box. Two buttons on one XLR, like this one. That little box. Rules. Or four buttons on two XLRs, like this one. That little box. Rules. The MIDI. World. You could also use a Y split wired in the correct way to give inputs for two separate buttons. I don't have one here, but I hope it's easy to see how this would work. Now let's look at two button or illuminated mode. To enter this mode, power up the box with the switch all the way over to the right. In this mode, each XLR can be connected to only one button, wired as a switch between pins one and two. Pin three outputs five volts to run an LED. This LED will blink off when a button is pressed to give some visual feedback. That little box. Again, you could use a Y split cable to light an LED separate from the button box, or use two XLRs to feed a box with two illuminated buttons. By default, the GPIO box will output program change commands 0 through 3, and for the most part this will be fine. But if we want to output a specific command for, say, controlling Pro Tools or Ableton, we can use learn mode to teach the box what we need it to say. To enter this mode, power up the box with the switch in the center position. You will see that the status LED on the back of the GPIO box will begin to blink slowly. This blinking indicates that the box is waiting for you to tell it which button you would like to assign a command to. Plug in the button you'll be using and press it. For an illuminated button you may need to press it twice. You will see that the blinking will stop. The box is now ready to accept a MIDI command. Select the GPIO box as the MIDI destination in whatever software you're using, I'm using QLab, and send your desired MIDI command. Once the command has been received, the LED will resume flashing, and the box is now ready for you to select another button and repeat the process. Once you're finished, just flick the mode switch to your desired setting, and your box will out now output your custom commands. GPIO box. If you ever want to return your GPIO box to its original program change commands, it's easy. Just connect a button to input 3 on XLR2 and hold it down while powering the box up. You'll see the status LED will blink rapidly to confirm the reset. So that's the GPIO box, a small box with some big potential, available at thatlittlebox.co.uk.